Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. This video is brought to you today by Nebula Classes. Stick around and I'm going to tell you more about it soon. I have seen countless educators and I have heard from countless students telling me that when they get taught to solo or improvise, it's so scale heavy, so lick heavy, so arpeggio heavy. And it's just what, it's what has become normal since I, jazz education started back in the 70s. And there's a place for that kind of playing. I think if you listen to my playing, you'll even hear that there is a place for that kind of playing. But the way that I want to teach people to solo and the way that I try to solo, it's much more organic than that. It's, it's more truthful than that. It's more beautiful than that to me. Anyway, and I hope to you, it's much more melody focused, motif focused. And I want to prove that to you today just a little bit. When people think about soloing, they think that they have to know every mode. They think they have to know every scale and exactly which mode or which scale to employ over exactly which chord. And like I said, there's something to that. But a lot of times I can just play somebody a chord. I've done it a lot of times and just say to them, can you think of a pretty melody over this chord? And they always do. If I asked you to just stop for a second and think of a pretty melody, like a four or five note melody just over that chord, I have no doubt that almost every single one of you could do it. And that is what improvising is to me. It's hearing something inside your head reacting to the harmony and then seeing it through. I want to show you how it works. It's the difference between taking a solo on autumn leaves and playing like this. And soloing like this. It's the difference between soloing over record a me like this. And soloing over record a me like this. the difference between soloing over solar like this you starting to see where I'm coming from a little bit it's the difference between soloing over the blues like this with the blues scale only and soloing like this. Are you seeing where I'm coming from? As I'm playing these little tiny melodic ideas or motifs that are just coming out of my brain and into my hands, you're able to know a little bit about me. You're able to feel a little bit about what I'm feeling and you're able to actually predict a little bit of what I'm going to play, which to me is the most beautiful thing to be able to draw your audience into what you're doing so much so that they might even be able to predict what you're going to do next. To me, that's really 
getting at the heart of what the beauty of soloing is all about. I've taken entire groups of students from age seven to age 22 and given them a little exercise where I just play the chords to a song very slowly and I ask them to think of their own motif. They do, and then I ask them to take it through the keys. You could do it. If I played um, All the Things You Are and I gave you a little motif, so here are the chords. You're hearing them. You feel how the harmony goes. Maybe you've heard this song before, right? And I go back and I'm gonna give you a motif. The motif is going to be la do -de -do -da. And I know that you can hear what comes next. You keep the exact same thing, but skew it so that it's going to sound good over the next bit of harmony. Did you do it? Right? You heard it. Take it back. You could keep it going. there with me? I know that you were. I know that you were because my idea was simple enough and catchy enough and it had enough purpose that we could see it through all the way with intention. Even, I mean, even people who don't listen to jazz can do this. I had it happen at the last clinic that I taught. I, there was a kid in the audience who I had known from my hometown and I brought him up and I said, hey, Brock, would you mind just trying this? Because I knew he could sing in tune, but he never listens to jazz. Brock nailed it. Everybody applauded like crazy for him. Charlie, yeah. would you do something for me? I hate to put you on the spot. Sorry, my son happens to be in the room, and it's a perfect opportunity, maybe. Um, okay, Charlie, here, sit by me. There's room. Um, I'm going to put the microphone at you just a little bit, and if I just play you this harmony, which you don't know, but... It goes like that. If I make up just a little a little idea. I wonder if you can sing it a bunch of times in a row as you hear these chords change so that it changes slightly every time and still fits within these chords. So here's my idea. Um, da -da 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 -da. Can you hear where I might go next? Da -da 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 -da. That's it. And next? Da -da -da -da. it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Try it again. So there's a funny change at the end of this song that you couldn't predict, but maybe you can this time. Try it again. That's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, Charlie is a talented guy, given yeah, he's, he's a talented guy. But I know you guys are also talented. And, and given a motif like that, I have a feeling that every one of you could carry it through, no matter what song it was on. We go back to Record Ame, we go back to Solar, we go back to Autumn Leaves. I have a feeling you could do it. Here's the trouble. The trouble is thinking of the motif. Having that organic little melodic idea come out of you as easily as it comes out of me. I don't want you to think that I've thought of these ahead of time. I really haven't. If I, if I sat here and, and played, um, uh, which one? Maybe Record Me. If I sat here and played it a bunch of times I could come up with a bunch of different motifs and watch me close. No cut on this video. I'm not looking at any music. I'm just going to think of them and play them for you. 
There's one, back to A minor. That was a nice one. Back to A minor. Another one. Hearing an idea and then playing the harmony and carrying your idea through the harmony with the courage to hold on to it is something that I think I'm just going to preach until my dying day. You could put it on my gravestone. How would it go? Find a motif, see it through till the end. Right? Like you could even apply that to life and then it would actually make sense on a gravestone. I don't know. I'm not thinking about dying, but it is my purpose. I really, really want people to improvise like this and not like this. There's a place for it. It comes later. First, these ideas from the heart have to be able to pour out of you. Nebula Classes is the next brilliant thing from Nebula. Maybe some of you saw on my social media that I've recently flown out to New York City and I didn't tell anybody why. Well, the reason was that Nebula brought me out there to record a class. It's a class that I've had up my sleeve for a while. And the whole class is about creating your own motif without relying on scales or arpeggios. It's about making a meaningful musical statement that comes from yourself in the moment. It's a 13 part class where I sit and it was so cool, you guys. All I had to do was teach. I made a good plan and then I taught while other people worked the cameras and the lighting and did the editing and every other thing that I'm really no good at. Finally, I just got to sit and do what I do and have other people worry about the rest of it. It's a beautiful class. I'm so proud of it. Hi everybody, welcome to my Nebula class. I'm Amy Nolte. I'm a jazz piano player and singer, but I want you to know right up front, you don't have to be a piano player or a singer to get everything you need out of this class. It's for all instruments. And if you'd like to learn my whole philosophy about how to create a meaningful motif that comes from your heart, you'll watch my class. And I wonder if they'll even ever bring it back. Yeah, they did bring it back. Mine is not the only class on Nebula. More and more classes are coming all the time. We're launching today with my class, Sam from Wendover, Georgia Dow, as well as an exclusive new class from the team at Bright Trip. We have a new class dropping every single week, like Sarah Feldman's class on how to produce a pop song. And a really exciting part of this is that soon, my own Nebula original will be dropping that I made also while I was in New York City with my good friend Adam Neely, and it's all about the blues. Since Nebula Classes is a part of Nebula, you'll also get access to all of the exclusive and ad-free content from all of our creators. Over 10,000 videos with new things to discover every day. And you can watch all of this great content from apps that you can run on your TV, like Android TV, Apple TV, Roku, Fire Stick, any one of those that you can think of, it's there. And it's a great, easy to run, really good looking app. You can sign up right now using my code, nebulaclasses.com slash Amy Nolte that you see right here on the screen and in the description of this video to get the introductory rate for Nebula Classes of $80 for the year or $8 a month. This includes all the content from Nebula plus Nebula Classes. I've got more up my sleeve as well, 
It's so nice to be able to go and teach what I know how to teach while the production end of things is handled by professionals. And I promise I will bring you more soon. And I also promise that you are going to be creating motifs left and right and out the freaking wazoo after you watch my class. It's, it's my promise to you. You'll be able to do it. Sign up right now using my code that you see on the screen below. If you've already subscribed to Nebula, it's just an extra $5 a month. Clicking on my code will set that up for you as well. Joining Nebula, joining Nebula classes, it's a way to make yourself smarter, and it's also a great way to support me, which you've been doing for years already, and I really appreciate. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.